Hello my friends, uh, in this video we'll talk about Makefile and I will show you example of Makefile for Django project. You can use a similar Makefile for uh, any uh, Python or any uh, development project and actually these Makefiles they are used for automation or, uh, or making a uh, routine part of the project uh, scripted or, or, or automated. Uh, and in uh, and as an example, uh, yeah, let me show you an example. As an example, we'll use a DevHub project. Uh, I will put link in the description. You can check the actual example. Uh, and for this DevHub, uh, so short, uh, firstly, uh, DevHub is our Django example project, Django 2 example project. And as a, as a structure of this uh, Django project, we will we have a make file. And in this make file, we have a targets like uh, create a virtual environment freeze requirements, check for uh, Django code guidelines uh, and styles, fix some of them, and etc, etc. And by using this make command, I can just run, for example, I need, need a, a cleanup uh, when you work on, on Python or Django project uh, in your uh, local machine or in development. You can have cache files, you can have, for example, uh, tem uh, temporary database files. And by automating commands like clean or cleanup, uh, I can uh, have a short command like, for example, make clean and it will actually run all these commands for me. So this target is uh, automated uh, steps for cleanup of my project. Another example is running the project. For example, if I want to run the project in Docker environment, I, yeah, so, so first of course you need to have a Docker Compose and Docker file in your project structure. Uh, we will have another video with all these details, uh, details of Django's project structure. But for now, shortly, uh, yeah, we have a Docker Compose app command, which also build the, our Docker, Docker file and Docker Compose conf configuration. And I can use just uh, make run Docker, uh, which will set up and run this uh, project for me. Uh, and of course, you can have a few more uh, steps before running actual Docker Compose, but it is specific to the project. Uh, and another example is migrations or migrate uh, commands, or I, I like this one uh, yeah, yeah, a lot because uh, yeah, when I do a development, I can clean up, uh, for example, let's just do it. Let's say that we need to remove our uh, virtual env. Uh, okay, let's, let's see, we don't have it. Yeah, I did a cleanup, so now I can run make uh, vnv. Uh, it will set up a virtual env, install our requirements, and our virtual env environment will be ready. And for this, you can see the example here. So first, uh, sorry, this one. Uh, first, we create a virtual environment with this uh, function. It's a make file function, and then using pip, we install our lo local requirements. Uh, yeah, for this specific project, I have a local and Docker requirements. Uh, we talk about this in another video. Uh, but 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 shortly using this uh, target, uh, I can create a virtual env and install requirements. And when when I have a target, I can just run make vm. Uh, as you can see, uh, in, on the top of the file, I have a variables with all my project spec specification. For example, there is my virtual env, uh, location of requirements file, location of pip, flake, uh, and uh, other com uh, packages. Uh, I, and I can use these variables like this or commands like this and I can also have uh, dependencies for example for my check command which checks for Python guidelines yeah we can run it right now make check uh, I have a dependency on my vnv and same for my fix command so and that basically means that when you run this command or this target it will first check for what for this target and if there is no virtual env, it will install it and then run these commands. And that basically means that if you don't have virtual env, uh, this command will not fail. It will first try to create a virtual env. Uh, that's quite useful file in, in your project, in your structure. Uh, and you can use uh, this uh, example as a baseline uh, and as a base format and add your additional commands on top of it. Uh, I will, as I said, I will put link uh, to the repository in description. You can check it out by yourself. Uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.
Networks.